wrestle not against flesh and blood. Ephesians 6, 12, part A. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. And thank you, Lord, for your word this morning. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. And thank you, Lord God, for pouring life into us. And I thank you, Lord, that we can motor through anything that comes our way. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> Glory. <laughs> I just declare over you life, wholeness, health, peace, prosperity, strength, courage, and boldness in the name of Jesus. Glory. <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know. I just did that. I just felt like doing that. At any rate, this morning on the trail, the uh, Lord uh, had me quiet. Seems to be doing that a lot lately. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like my singing voice. I don't know, but uh, he's been uh, quiet and going, shh, be quiet and listen. I have something to tell you. And this morning he was talking to me about <clears throat> contending and uh, how Jacob contended with uh, the angel of the Lord and how in our lives we contend against things. We contend for God's blessings. We contend to stand against the devil. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Um, we contend to win, or most of us contend to win. And, and the more my walk, the longer I walk, the stronger my walk becomes, the more I'm willing to contend, the more I'm willing to step out and overcome those things. Because when we contend, when we wrestle, we really, <clears throat> we're really in a fight for our spiritual lives. We're really in a fight to overcome a false belief system. We're really in, in a fight to bring the truth to other people. And we need to see that contending is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Um, it's not an easy thing. Our walk should never be easy because if our walk is easy... <laughs> if we're not overcoming something in our lives, or we stop, do we believe we've arrived? Um, this life, we're meant to go through this life, and we're meant to contend against uh, against mindset, against uh, strongholds set up by either our flesh, the world, or the enemy. You know, there's, there, that's three types of strongholds. What about contending? In, in travail for somebody that we might be interceding for. Now, I'm not really an interceder. I'm a prayer, but I'm not an interceder. I guess we're all interceders, but uh, intercessors, okay. <laughs> I just got told, intercessor. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Um, okay, interceding, intercessors. Intercess intercession. Um we travail, we contend for a person who's standing in a gap. Um, this morning, uh, the definition of contend is to struggle in opposition. Uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, darkness, rule, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, and take on to you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day, having done all to stand. <laughs> I wasn't going to go down that road, praise the Lord. But uh, <clears throat> I just love the, that group of scriptures in Ephesians. And uh, we need to see that, that there are going to be times in our lives we're going to be wrestling. Most likely, we're going to be contending more often than not because we have so many religious boxes in our lives, so many religious ideas in our lives that we think are right, and then we find out later on that they're not right. Because we contended with that idea. Is this really true? <clears throat> and uh, talking about uh, contending for a blessing. In Genesis 32, 24 through 30, it says, And Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day is broken. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. 
Then he said, Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with men and have prevailed. You've contended, you've wrestled, you <clears throat> stood against them, and you've prevailed. Now, Jacob, <laughs> he robbed his brother of his blessing. He was a liar. He was a thief. <laughs> and yet, the Lord's saying to him, whether this is an actual angel or a man and God's using him, I don't know. This is a man. Um, most people think it was the angel of the Lord. But, uh, you know, uh, God said, hey, you're righteous. Basically, you're righteous. Then Jacob asked him, then Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. But he said, why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So then, so Jacob called the name of that place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life has been delivered. <clears throat> Sometimes we contend for the blessing of the Lord. I want to be blessed, and I'm not going <clears> to, <throat> I'm, I'm not going to let go until I get this blessing, Lord. I'm going to stand here in intercession until I see a breakthrough, Lord. Can you see? Can you see the picture here? It's a deeper spiritual thing that you know God's calling us to wrestle. He's calling us to overcome. That ma that man could not overcome Jacob. Now, uh, had that had had <laughs> had that actually been God he was wrestling? I don't think there would have been a contest. I think uh, he would have been down in the first one second. And, and but it just shows us a spiritual thing here that uh, when we wrestle, when we contend, and get before the Lord, and we begin to contend for that breakthrough. Sometimes we have to wrestle for a long period with it. It doesn't just come like that. And and as we stand and wrestle, contending for that blessing. Bless me, Lord. I'm not going to release this until you bless me. That is contending. Oh. And in Luke 22, 31 through 32, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Strengthen thy brethren. <laughs> brethren. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Just shows you how closely I'm looking at the words I'm reading. <laughs> Glory. But, you know, aside from that, I can use this <clears throat> these video blogs as, as uh, I've contended to learn how to teach. I'm still contending for that, for that position, but uh, I think it's better sometimes than others. But uh, praise the Lord, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm standing there. I'm, 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 fat. I'm holding fast on this confession that the Lord's called me to do this. Glory. But uh, we can see there that Peter's going to have to contend. He's going to have to wrestle. He's going to be sifted. That night he's going to deny Jesus three times. But if, 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 we, if we see this as a picture of Jesus being the high priest and, and being on the mercy seat interceding on our behalf, he says, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Isn't that kind of cool? When thou art converted, when you come back, that your faith doesn't fail. I've contended for you. That's intercession for somebody else. You can see a prophetic picture of what, what, the, what path this person is taking. And we step out in faith and begin to pray for that person. And by faith we believe. We contend for that person. He's wrestling against the enemy for Peter. Glory. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. 
Stand fast, therefore, resist the devil, he'll flee from you. The Lord gave me that word yesterday. I was <laughs> teaching the Lord about something. And uh, I said, Lord, I'm dying to myself here. Give me the strength to die to myself. And the Lord, and I heard the Lord clear, in a clear, small voice say, Stand fast, therefore, resist the devil, he will flee. And, and when I heard that, it was like, man, it was like a phase booster. It was like, yeah! Yeah, baby! <laughs> and that's how it was. Praise the Lord. <laughs> My neighbor probably thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> and I praise the Lord for that because I was able to contend against that thing that was tempting me so sorely. Okay, I'm just a human. <laughs> Glory. In Luke 22, 40 through 44, it says, And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. But he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to stop right there. I, that's been one of my prayers is teach me, not my will, but your will, Lord God. And about dying to yourself, it means about putting off what you want, what you desire, and making someone else's desire greater than yours. And it was the desire of the Father that Jesus get beaten, bruised, and turned into hamburger and die for us. That was the Father's desire and will for, for Jesus. That he become the ultimate sacrifice for us so we could be set free, so we could be brought to him. What's God saying for you to die to yourself for? What is God saying to you, contend with this thing and overcome? Is God saying, come to me and contend with me for that blessing. Present your case uh, about the unrighteous judge, the unjust judge, and the widow. She kept coming to him and bugging him and bugging him and bugging him. And finally she said, I don't respect God, I don't respect man, but this woman's driving me crazy, so I'm going to give her what she wants. She contended with the judge. And he gave her what she wanted. And so we have to, sometimes we have to contend for the things that we want or the things that God wants us to do because the enemy will desire to sift us like wheat. God will want us to do something that our flesh and our mindset doesn't possibly think that we can do. So we begin to pray. Let this cup be passed from me. Yet in that contention, we, we begin to see the truth of the matter, and we begin to say, give me the strength to contend with this day. Um, <clears throat> speaking of dying to yourself, I was thinking when the Lord told me this, about last week or the week before, I think it was last week, at any rate, uh, I, th I was thinking it was just about one thing at a time, but I realized yesterday it was many things that we have to die to, that we have to contend with in, in our walk along the path. It's not just one thing. It's not always just going to be one thing, because there's always something there to replace what's, what you've overcome. Glory. <laughs> and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. I mean, if that isn't contending, if that isn't wrestling, if that isn't a picture of struggle, I don't know what is. And we have to see that in our lives, although we might have to struggle for things, on the other side of those struggles are breakthroughs. Jesus struggled with this. <clears throat> His flesh didn't want to go to the cross. 
He didn't want to be beat. He had no doubts about what his mission was, however. And he went. I had somebody tell me one time that, that they thought he might have had some doubts about this and, and was thinking about changing his mind. I don't think he ever thought about changing his mind. <clears throat> but he was asking the Lord, his God, if there's another way to do this without going through all of this, can we do it? And there was only one way, and that was to be the perfect sacrifice. His obedience to what God wanted him to do is what he contended for his whole life. He, he grew in favor with his, uh, with his father and, and with uh, those around him. But <clears throat> he contended against temptations. He was taken out in the wilderness and tempted and had a more opportune time. <laughs> and he came back and tempted him again. And he had to contend against those things. He had to contend against people that didn't believe in the truth. They believed a lie. Um, I could keep going on and on, but in our own lives, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not just about what we can see. There's things that we can't see. It's mindsets. It's belief systems. It's, it's our flesh. It's the world. It's the enemy. And I just want to say thank you for coming and sitting with me this morning. <clears throat> thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace upon this word. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. And I ask, Lord God, that you would strengthen us to walk with the ability to contend against any situations that may rise up against us. And that we would overcome those things in our lives, whatever we're struggling against. And I thank you for this word today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey. Help, 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 help. <clears throat> Let's just see what I do this morning. I don't know what I'm going to do this morning. <clears throat> myself I'm contending to play that song <laughs> yeah never been very coordinated when my fingers are concerned but the Lord did tell me that I'm anointed to play so but I don't think that uh, it's not going to come without kind of struggle God must worship him in spirit and in truth. And all these things that we do should be done from the heart, the heart of gratitude, the heart of love. Then he pours into us his heart of grace and graciousness.
right, rain down on us, Holy Spirit. you guys. Bless you. I'll see you later. Bye.